I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 90 already. All right, so today we're gonna be stitching with my four-in-one machine quilting ruler. Now you'll notice here, I do have a little bit of the Westerly stable tape on this ruler. The one that I am stitching with in the video, I don't have stable tape on. The reason why I move so fast and I really do feel like I have pretty good control holding my rulers without the stable tape, but this is only because I've been practicing for a long, long time with these machine quilting rulers. The stable tape is something that I do highly recommend to anybody wanting to work with machine quilting rulers, whether it's on a domestic or a long arm machine, a really great product to help just secure your rulers a little bit. You can pick that up over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. In the meantime, let's get stitching. Using my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, I'll begin stitching near the bottom of the block. I'm going to stitch a few fun back and forth curved lines. So you'll see here that I'm lining my first line up. I'm lining the ruler up so that my first line will be about a half an inch, my first curved line from the bottom of the block. So I'll stitch from left to right along the largest curve on the 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. When I get to the right side of the block, I'll travel along the ditch, moving up a half an inch. When I get to that point, I'll adjust my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, moving up so that the first marked line on the ruler is right on top of my first stitched line. I'll repeat that process, stitching back and forth curved lines until I have four of those curved lines stitch out. After the fourth line, when I'm on the left side of the block, then I'm going to rotate my ruler and begin stitching straight lines. Now I know that I've showed you several different designs where I've stitched straight lines, but I've done fun matchstick quilting. With this design, instead of the matchstick quilting, you'll see here that we're going to stitch straight vertical lines that are all one quarter of an inch apart. So I'll stitch the first line on the left side of the block, and then when I reach the top of the block, I'll stitch along the outside ditch on the top of the block, moving over a quarter of an inch. An easy way to do this is move over so that the side of your ruler foot is right next to your previous stitch line. Easy way to do it without any additional marking. I'll repeat that process working back and forth, traveling along my previous stitch line at the bottom, lining my machine quilting ruler up so that it's right, the outside edge of the ruler is right on top of my previous stitch line to get that perfect quarter inch space lines. Once I'm finished with the machine quilting design, I'll stitch in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. I hope you enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow! Thank you.